Okay, here's a PCD function for the two auto Kexen DROs. In the manual, page 34, discusses the PCD function, the five parameters that are needed for it, the center position, the diameter, number of holes, a starting angle, and an ending angle. Talks here about specifying your angles with a positive value. Your whole circle is going to be cut in a counterclockwise direction. If you specify a neg negative angle, your holes will be done in a clockwise direction. Either or doesn't really matter. And it talks about how to get into the function. And then it shows an example here with the diameter, which in this example is 80, the center position, a starting angle, and an ending angle. Okay, and in their sample, The starting position is zero, the diameter is 80 millimeters, five hole, starting angle of 30, ending angle of 300. Then it talks about how to enter that. So let's set that up. First we're in metric mode. We get into the hole function. It's always going to be XY. Our current position, center position, can be done two ways. You can either calculate it, you touch your part off and have the top corner be zero, and then you can calculate out to where you want your hole center to be. Hole centers are not always going to be in this, from the center of the part. Sometimes you have to calculate it. But we're going to go from the center of the part. So I've got my tool in the center of the part. So here we can push enter. And it's asking for a diameter. We're going to go 80 millimeters. Hit enter. It's asking us for a starting angle. Starting angle is going to be 30. The ending angle. Is going to be 300. Number of holes are five. Now it puts us to the first hole. At zero our axis. Y zero, zero X, Okay, X is zero on the number one hole. Let's see what happened to the part. Okay, so there's our center. And it brought us over to the left and down. That's the opposite of what the book says. But watch this. If I turn the book upside down, that's right where our holes are. 
starting angle of 30 and if we continue all the whole bolt circle our ending angle will be up here at 300 so what's happening here let's turn the turn this back over took me a couple hours to figure out but what's happening here is the direction of our axes they're backwards according to this sample now I've set the machine up to the default this is a diagram showing the default there's my Z axis with a positive in the up direction there's my Y axis positive towards the back and my X direction positive towards the right so let's go in and settings and reverse that we can get out of hole mode get into settings come down to our direction and we're going to reverse X and Y okay now we're going to go back to our part center get to the center okay that's about the center so let's zero everything and try it again see what happens okay Oop, we go into hole mode it's always XY center position is zero the diameter is 80 millimeters the starting angle is 30 and the ending angle is 300 and we have five holes gives us numbers let's see what happens when we zero the axis now so let's come up to zero There's Y zero, now at zero X. Okay, X and Y are zeroed in the number one hole. Let's see what happened to the part. Here's our center hole. And now it's moved us right and up. Just like in the sample. So what we thought wasn't working is just a matter of changing the directions of your axis. Now if we go to the second hole and zero our axis again let's go to the zero zero y zero x Okay, X and Y are zeroed. Number two hole. Let's see where we are in our sample. There's zero hole. There's number one. There's number two. So now it's working. We could go on and do the rest of the holes and we'll find out 
that the holes are just like they are in the book. So I've set up an example So let's get out of this, bring up another piece of metal, okay, so let's put everything back to the way it was, we'll zero everything, we want it in inches, so we'll switch it to inches. Let's go back and put the directions back to default. Put the directions back to default. Okay, now I've, I've come up with this table and it talks about the number of holes and the number of degrees between each hole when you specify that number. Here's our starting angles and then here's our ending angles depending upon how many holes you got. So in my sample I had X and Y direction set to zero. Zero zero is my center point 1.5 is my diameter, 0 is my starting angle, 240 is my ending angle, and 3 is the number of holes. So let's set that up. It's always XY, center position is 0, we've moved the part over the tool center. Now we want a diameter of 1.5 enter that. We want a starting angle of zero and we want an ending angle according to my chart is 240. We want three holes and it gives us position for the first hole. So now if we come to our part This is the center hole. This is the center. Then we come over and we zero our axes, and that's the first hole. Well, you would think zero would be over here, like it is in their diagram. But remember, we, we, we put the directions back. So let's try a second example with a starting angle of 45 and an ending angle of 285. So let's put that in. It's always XY. We're in the current position. 1.5 diameter. Starting angle this time of 45. Ending angle of 285. Still three holes. That gives us where we should zero out at. Now in the second example, here's our part center, and here's our number one hole, number two hole, number three hole. See, it rocked that starting position down 45 degrees. Let's go to sample number three. Starting angle of 90, ending angle of 330. Let's go up into there. Get into the function, it's always XY, we're at the current position, 1.5, starting angle is going to be 90, the ending angle is going to be 330, and we're going to have three holes, so we hit enter, given the numbers. So now... There's our center point. Here's our first hole, straight down at 90. Our second hole, and our third hole. So we've rocked the starting point from 0 to 45 to 90. 
Now remember the directions. I was going to try and put 180 and expect it to start up over here. Well, that got all messed up. It didn't work. So I went back to the direction because I want to get to the top half of this part to put in my number one hole. I don't want it over here, I don't want it over here, and I don't want it over here. I want it up top. So let's try that sample. And that sample is going to be, we took the X and Y direction, we changed it to 1. So let's do that. Get into setup. Okay, X and Y direction. We're going to change X and Y. We get back into setup. Okay, now let's try the hole function. Hole functions, always X, Y. We're at the current position. Our diameter is 1.5. Our starting angle is 90. Our ending angle is 330. Our number of holes is 3. Gives us our numbers. Zero our access. So now here's this test. Here's our center position. Now, with the direction reversed, our starting angle of 90 is up top. Before, when we specified 90, it was down here. So by switching the direction, you can get up to the top half of the circle. So there's our first hole. We go down, hit the down arrow. There's the second hole. You come over here. There's our second hole. And there's our third hole. Another sample. We're going back to 45 and 285. So we key that up. Always X, Y. We're in the center position. 1.5. Our starting angle is 45. And our ending angle is 285. Number of holes is 3. And then we zero our axes. And this is this sample. Here's our center hole. Center position. Now our number one hole is over here, 45. That's our number two hole. After we push down arrow and zero our axes. That's our number two. Then we push down arrow and zero our axes. That's number three. Now I've got a third sample. Back to zero and 240. So let's set that up. Always X, Y. Center position, 1.5. Now our starting angle is 0. And our ending angle is 240. Number of holes is 3. So we zero out our axis. Now here's this sample. There's our center position. There's our first hole. At 0. We come down, down arrow, zero the axes. There's our second hole. Down arrow, zero the axes. There's our third hole. So if you want to get to the top half of the circle, you just switch your direction and then your number one position will move. So if you play with your start positions and directions, you should be able to pick a point anywhere on here and have your first hole start wherever you want it. You just got to play with the numbers. And the PCD function works great.